city built on faith and the promise of a new beginning. Hamtramck, Michigan is a small community carved within the boundaries of Detroit. When the auto industry turned Detroit into Motown, Hamtramck doubled in size in one decade, with immigrants rushing to fill the jobs and find the American dream. Now, a century later, that promise remains, as does the faith, though it may look a little different. We are thinking this place is very comfortable to live. Abdul Motlib is the president of the al Isla Islamic Center and one of the thousands of Muslim immigrants who have chosen to settle here. We can call like uh, United Nations if you go in New York and if you coming in Hamtramck, it look like another United Nations. Walk down the street and you'll see why some say the Middle East has landed in Hamtramck, where the city council now has a Muslim majority. Because mashallah, you're going to college, huh? Mashallah, its newest member, Saad al Masmari, says he won with a plan to help the struggling economy here. I'm not going to put my uh, religion or my Islam into my politics or into my job. I'm going to help everyone and serve everyone in Hamtramck. For Greg Kowalski, the city historian, it's just the newest chapter of a constantly changing place. Everybody is mixed in, uh, in together. It's really, really fascinating. Sounds like the American dream, like the melting pot. I think it is. I really, really do. But change has not come easy for all, especially some of the longtime residents, like Bernice Kurzawa, who raised her family here. I think there's less social life because you don't talk to many people, and many people don't want to talk to you. Or in some cases, they can't. I'm sitting on the porch by myself, and she's sitting there by herself, and she's kind of elderly too but we can't communicate. For some others who have lived in the city for decades, the change has brought fear. Marie Zolka says she no longer leaves her house. Do you feel like they've assimilated well into the community? Well, I feel like they're going to take it over. Zolka speaks of a time when the city was more than 80% Polish. This corner near the center of town perhaps best represents those two worlds. On one side, the painting of an eagle, a symbol seen on the Polish flag. And right across the street, this mural of three Yemeni women painted on the side of a Middle Eastern restaurant. Even though the Polish population only stands at about 11% today, the remnants of the history are everywhere. A statue of Pope John Paul who came to visit the city in the 80s. Polish restaurants and markets. Even the Polish Congress, which sits just footsteps from the Islamic Center. Polonia is still very present in Hamtramck, right? And it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. Professor Sally Howell has written several books, including Old Islam in Detroit, Rediscovering the Muslim American Past. I honestly don't think there's anything different about Muslim settlement here. It's the same history. A lot of people, when they came to America... A lot of people, especially from here, like to look at the past and see how things were. Well, we're a historical museum. We think that's a great thing. On the other hand, you have to face the reality, too, that things do change. And change is the one constant in Hamtramck, where Germans were replaced by Polish immigrants in the 19th century, and now Muslims from many nations, with each group a new diversity and new ideas of what it means to be American. In Hamtramck, Michigan, I'm Christine Frizzell for Full Measure.